781 bench, and the next guy has like a 733 or something you said, right? It was 738 with Kirill. Yeah, so uh-huh. that's that's an insane gap. I would go as far to say like that might be the biggest gap in all of sports. Real quick question. Of course. Because you're, you're, you're fourth all-time in total for uh, sleeves. But what is your bench? Like all-time, just your bench, where are you at? 716. 716, but like where does that rank? Just the bench. Oh, that bench, number four all time, too. Number four all time, yeah. too. Okay. So what are the lifts ahead of you, the, the, the bench numbers um, that are ahead of you? Eric Spoto, right 722. Uh, Kirill at uh, 738, right? And then Sounds Julius right. at 781. Man. Yeah. I'm pissed at him. It's a big, <laughs> big gap. It's so, <laughs> it's so wild that you two, though, you two are training partners. That's like, my boy, man. That's my boy. And you guys are like on this list of the greatest of all time in a specific sport, mm-hmm. and you two are here at the same time. Yeah. Like the really cool aspect of that is that you two can literally just push each other to get to those levels. And mm-hmm. it might be you two that are one and two, who knows which one, mm-hmm. but it's going to be you two. Yeah. It's fun, man. I, I love it. Like people, this is one thing I always hated too, and I'm, I'm glad to say this. Like, that's my brother. Like, people are like, oh, you guys are in competition, or they try to compare us all the mm-hmm. time. Like, I'm not Julius Maddox. That's my brother. Like, he does what he does. I'm Thomas Davis. You know, he, he's going for the 800, and I want him to smoke it. I want him to go past it if he wants to. That's my brother. Whatever he does, I'm going to support him. Mm-hmm. Just like he supports me. You know, we support each other. We're brothers. I don't want to be compared to him because he's his own guy. He's, he's in his own lane. He's great. I'm trying to be great, you know. That's, that's how it is, so... I, I love being able to be around somebody like him that's got his head on his shoulders and he's about it, you know. You know, you, you, and you guys know, but training with different people, a lot of guys really aren't about it. You know, mm-hmm. when it gets hard, it's, they're really not about that that grittiness. It's like, eh, I can't train with you no more. Mm-hmm. But him, we can get it in all day. Yeah, and how much better do you guys make each other? Way better. Yeah. Way better. Like, we, we try to plan on training with each other all the time. He actually has one of his benches, his ghost benches at our gym. So that he's he's comfortable because he's bougie like that. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to my boy, but he's bougie like that. He's got a bench at our gym and another guy's gym. Like he he's he's comfortable wherever he's going. So but we push him, man. So yeah. I want him to be the best, man. I want him to achieve his goals just as much as I want to mine. That's where you got to mess with him and be like, oh yeah, we're using this bar for today. He'll be like, <laughs> just looking at it like all weird the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna put his bench away, put it somewhere in the back room. So he we're gonna use it. these other plates for today. He's just gonna be like tripping the whole time. <laughs> He would too. <laughs> the 781 bench, and then the next guy has like a 733 or something. You said right? It was 738 with Kirill. Yeah, uh-huh. so that's an, that's an insane that's an insane gap. I would go as far to say like that might be the biggest gap in all of sports when it comes to all time world records. I think so too. Like percentage wise, like I don't know, I suck at math, but I, someone could probably figure it out. Right. Um, like whatever Hussein Bolt has in the hundred. You know, the next closest guy was, is a lot closer than that gap that Julius Maddox has right. created. Right, and that, that's a good example. Like with Usain Bolt, like it'd be him and then everybody else. You know? He'd like, have to run probably like a couple hundreds of a second faster even yep. than what he already did to be comparable to what Julius Maddox has done to the previous records. Exactly. Power Project Family, how's it going? Now, a lot of you guys are lifters, athletes. You're serious about the gym, and we are too. And that's why we've been using Slingshot products for years, all right? You have the original Slingshot, obviously the glittery pink hip circle, which is my (laughs) personal favorite. But if you don't like that, then you have the normal hip circle that's used to warm up the hips. But on the website, they have tons of equipment, knee sleeves, elbow sleeves, the gangster wraps right there. So you need to go check them out. And Andrew, can you tell them more about it? Yes, that's over at markbellslingshot.com. And at checkout, enter promo code POWERPROJECT10 to save 10% off your entire order. Uh, links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. And I mean, that's great. It's so good for the sport. Like people, you know, I know they doubted him when he was going for seven. You know, <laughs> smoked it. Now he does seven for like five reps. <laughs> Paused. Are you serious? Yeah, I think that's his best. I think that's his best set. It was like 700 for five. You guys get pretty frustrated with each other too? I'm sure you get kind of like mad at each other a bit here and <laughs> we're there. Like, like, we're like the cool like cousin brothers. Like we, we really don't get mad at each other. Like we, we get on each other when we need to, but like for the most part, it's all love, man. And I mean, we, I definitely get on him about his diet sometimes. He gets on me about mine. It's like, what, what are you eating there, big boy? And I'm like, don't worry about what I'm eating right now. Like, you worry about you. And, 
No, we're, we're I said cool I'm like starting that. on Monday. <laughs> yeah. You said that, that six is weeks ago. Classic. Oh my god, that's so classic. Start Monday. Start Monday. Start Monday. You know what? Whatever. You start whenever you start, but make sure you start. <laughs> start on Monday. Have you two since you train together, like what have you seen in him that maybe you gave him some advice on bench or maybe what has he seen on you that he gave you some advice on bench? Because I feel like you guys are at a level where there's there's trade secrets that you guys are trading with each other that just mm-hmm. people don't understand. Um, actually, with him, I was the one who, and he'll tell you, like, I, I take full credit for this. <laughs> I helped him with his form because I know you guys have probably seen his, like, earlier videos when he before he even really was going for seven. Like, he'd be doing, like, 680 and his foot would go out. Like, and still press 6'8". Like, who does that? Like, mm-hmm. it was weird to see it. He was completely flat. You know, he really had no form. And, I, I, you know, I worked with him on that, and we still work on it. Like, now, like, his form is a lot better. Um, oh, I'm trying to work on getting his hips a little bit more opened up so he can get a little bit more torque wow. under him so he can get a little bit of a better arch. But, I mean, like, I mean, I, I helped him with his form a little bit, and, like, that little bit took off, but... The fact that he was able to hit 680, 700, and his foot slipping. Like, he, you're, you're not even completely, like, on the bench, bro. Like, you're, you're slipping off, and you're still able to push it up. Yeah. Like, who are you? Like, <laughs> yeah, Thor? No like, sense. who are you? <laughs> Hulk? No He's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think it's going to take to get uh, powerlifting more mainstream? Um, Us doing what we do and uh, other people seeing it and, like, like this idea with the car thing like you know just little things like that like i just think that's like the biggest thing like really showing that we are athletes like no matter what i know in other countries like probably there's more power like you know they're more popular over there but like we are athletes too like we bang we do what we do and like we really put time and effort into it and what we do is really cool it's really amazing were you offended by the video that Julius put up the other day when he ran the stairs and said it's the f- he's the fastest 400-pound man on earth? No, because he knows he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows, especially when I'm healed up, I Dude, would smoke him in a race. Dude, you guys have to have a race, yeah. I would smoke him in a race. That's my boy, but he knows what time it is. He, he's, he's, he's the bench king, but I'm, I'm like the athlete still. Like I, mm-hmm. I still got it. We, actually, we're supposed to be playing basketball soon, too. Ooh, one-on-one good. basketball. So that will be, the, like, the biggest one-on-one you've ever seen. Yeah. Two 400-pounders. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's going to be crazy. Are either one of you any good? I, I think I'm pretty good. Yeah. I used to be able to dunk, too. Damn. I did, yeah, when I'm in high school. We boy. saw a video more recently of Mark Henry doing a, a dunk oh, in basketball. yes, at that little contest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I can... <clears throat> before I got hurt, I could still grab rim. So... I know for a fact, like, if I continue to drop this body fat and I continue to get stronger in these legs, I'll be able to dunk again. Hey, wait, before you go, you got this far. That means that you've enjoyed the heat that we're continuing to bring you. So listen, listen, like the video, comment something down below. We'll reply back and subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you the heat. Seriously, do it. Love you. Bye.